Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival, where I show you how logistics work in a quick and succinct video. So, n number one, as you can see, there are survival constructors that you can make, and these portable constructors, they have no Wi-Fi. So, the only way you can interact with them is to go up and got one in here is to actually go up to them and interact with them like this now if you wish to move something say like carbon block for example from this to the base and it's too heavy like if you have a full stack of items like a full stack of like silicon ore or something and you wish to move it to the base you simply go to the base structure or ship that you wish to move into, hit this, and when it turns yellow and your hotbar is yellow down here, this indicates what it is connected to. So you get yellow here, and you get yellow here. Now you can quickly switch between your, your player hotbar and the connected toolbar or the connected storage by simply hitting 1 through 9 just double clicking one through nine. Um, I'm just double clicking one right here, or I'm just clicking one here to switch between because it's easy for me. So you can easily, for example, instead of, so you can easily just move things between these. If it's too heavy for your inventory and you want to move everything quickly, you can just do that, do that, hit this again and you are disconnected. Now you can do this for all of these drop down boxes in your basis. So you just drop down, uh -oh, can't have the same container on the other side, but that's all right. And this, and also you can quickly switch between boxes in the same base by simply dragging or, or simply using the drop down menu and hitting shift plus right click on an item to quickly move it over. I'm going to go ahead and move them back. Now, you can also do this between your player inventory. And if you want to place something that is too heavy for your hotbar, like a constructor for example, you can simply put it on your hotbar and place it. And then you can pick it up and it's in your inventory. Uh, no, excuse me, because I'm still connected, it's still in here. It can, it, when you pick something up when you're connected to container, it picks it up and puts it in here. Now, quick little tip for if you want to play outboard turret structures that are not actually connected to the base. What you can do is you can look at the base, press N, hit that little checkbox there, and then you can place this unconnected. Now you cannot connect two separate blueprints. It all has to be part of the same core. The only way you can do that is in creative by using the copy and paste tools, but you cannot do that in survival at all. So just keep that in mind. Now I just pick that up and it's back in the inventory here. Now this can also be used to fill up HVs, CVs, or SVs. As you can see over here, my little HV has Wi-Fi on it, and in order to be able to do this away from the base, to where you're not on top of the base to do transfers, you have to have a Wi-Fi extender, and that's one of these. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to switch some things to cargo. So ammunition controller is all I have, so I'm going to switch that from that, from the HV, over here to the ammo box. And you can also do that with fuel if the... The only way you can fill up fuel in O2 remotely is by having the destination on the right side. The left side you can kind of do it with the Pentax tank, but you can't, and other controllers, but you can't do it with oxygen and fuel. 
Don't ask me why. I'm not a. I I, I have I've never asked. So you can fill up fuel like this. Well, this is already full, but you already saw that. All right, that is it for logistics 101. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the 102 class for logistics, where I show you how to quickly fill up fuel on auto miners, get ore from auto miners, and bring that ore back to base very, very quickly. All right, I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.